last time you played this tech, I mean, half the roster is different yes, from the sir. last time they played him, but we don't have to worry about Frank Jackson going for 35 this time because he's not with them. Yeah, that is that is true. Frank Jackson not have their own G League team, so they've picked up both Wade Baldwin, the fourth, and Caleb Swanigan, and it gets started with a Ray Spaulding jumper, just a bunch of little puppy dog faces. And, and they're wonderful jerseys. Tyler Harvey gets the first bucket of the game. Nice shot by Harvey, a little one-handed floater off balance in the lane for auction uh download the download the Invit app and you can get on those all the way through Wednesday they'll be up for auction with the proceeds going to the tunica hustle with a 4-2 lead Tariq Phillip down the lane to the rim yes and a foul Tariq Phillip with a three-point opportunity will be okay looked like he fell hard on that left arm Tyler Harvey, nice feed, a little give and go there, pick and roll to Jarnell Stokes for the two-handed jam. On the inbound, Hornsby gets it in the lane, nice feed for Spalding off the glass for two. Hornsby throws it away, Phillip has Crawford with him, Markel Crawford lays it up and in. Spalding, the only man to score for Texas, will be at the free throw line here. Shout out to uh, Tammy here. Herders with two points apiece here. Spreading the wealth. Yes. Tyler Hart. He knocks down a three, so he's got five now. It's the seventh all-time leading scorer in G League history. And he started his G League career with this Legends team. Coached by Hustle head coach Brad Jones. How about that? This guy's been everywhere. Darnell Stokes. Can't get on that one. Stokes to bring it up. Stokes all the way down. The Stokes to the rim. It pokes it with two hands. More, but it gets loose. Picked up by Stokes. Markel Crawford. Trying to get it back to Stokes. Taken away by Macon. Macon to Baldwin. Wade Baldwin lays it up and in. A for this game. While the Hustle got to sleep in their own beds after last night. Yes, that is the, that, that is the big difference. The Hustle got to sleep in their own beds. Tyler Harvey down a baseline at jump 14 from three-point range. Nino Johnson into the game. Nice move. Gets around Swan again and draws the foul and gets the bucket. Giannis's younger brother. Nino didn't, he, he hesitated and pump faked it. He didn't have to. If he just caught it and went up with it, he would have had the basket. But when he pump faked, it gave, because he took his three-point percentage, he took his three-point percentage from, I believe it was like 11% to 16.7 by making both of those as Marcus King. Jenna actually earlier this year kicked Dusty Hannes out of a game. Oh. As speaking of Dusty Hannes, he gets the finger roll bucket right there to make it a 16-point lead. But she gave Dusty the heave earlier in the game. Trisson Burrell, the former hustle player from a year ago, knocks down a three. Hasn't been getting a whole lot of action. Of course, that was four, they made 41 free throws in that game, the hustle did. And, oh, I, there were so inside. many free throws in that game. 84 total free throws were shot. Denton in from the corner, can't hit. Swan again, the rebound. And he just bowls over Kyle Casey and puts it in. Got a lot of dogs in the tennis, and I like it. Good crowd in attendance here tonight. Jarnell Stokes inside. Gets it with a left hand over Swanigan. Here's Tariq Phillip for three. Back on no good. Nice oh. job there by Stokes. Tips it out to Hannah's. The runner is good for Dusty Hannah. Nice job there. Pick and roll. And Stokes with the finish. Tyler Harvey. Drops it for Stokes, and means he put it in the front of the rim there for Jarnell Stokes. Open six now for Stokes. Macon, nice move, gets the bucket and one. Daryl Macon. That's a spin move there, gets the bucket. Inside, Stokes goes to the reverse and puts it in. Darnell Stokes already just <laughs> dominating this game early. This is, I mean, he was a the league MVP his year he played in the G League and the finals MVP that year as Crawford knocks down a jumper. Dominant player at this level. No doubt about that. On the drive, Rattan Mays off the glass. Nice move there. Got it up and he was able to get it to go in. 
that not traveling? I guess not. <laughs> guess not. Found a Phillip ahead to Crawford. Couldn't handle it at first. And now we'll kick it out. Harvey wide open for a three. And ring it up for Tyler Harvey. Harvey trying to lob it. And that was for his Myla Kane. He's in there. Kane kept it alive. And it ends up with a Crawford three. And Markel Crawford. That's a good sign. And here's a steal by Wade Baldwin. He'll get the easy trip and throw it down with two hands for Wade Baldwin to steal. He actually hit two threes in the last time we played Texas. Harvey knocks down another. Tyler Harvey likes playing Texas, that's for sure. Yes, he does. Biggest lead of the game is at 25. As he can't hit, but Caleb Swanigan with authority throws that one down on the follow. Macon out to Baldwin. Baldwin on a drive, scoops it up nicely with the left hand. Little run here. Macon will line up a three. He'll hit a three. It's a 9-1 run now. A little stagnant here. It has gotten stagnant. Defense has picked up for Texas. Macon, this time off the glass with the runner. We've got a 15-point game now. Here to shave 10 points off the hustle lead, 58-43. Keen sets up Johnson and he puts it in easily. Making it a poked away, picked up though by Baldwin. Baldwin in the lane. Here's Keen. Top of the key. Jumper is good for Marcus Keen. I went to Disney World apparently when I was three years old. I've never been back since, and I don't remember. Um Rin Tin Tin, of course. Rin Tin Tin. 101 you can choose from there. Yeah, I don't know all their names. I know Pompey <laughs> Pinford. I know if, if I know you the... did know all their names, that would be impressive. On again and onto the Kumpo, all with three. There's also Comet from uh, Full House. He's the golden retriever in Full House. I Look, I watched Full I, House. I, I'm not sure you should be proud of that. Everyone watched Full House. If you didn't watch Full House, I, lo I watched Full House. I just don't remember the dog's name. This is true. Like, it's hard to be hostile in that. Yeah, you can't be a violent player. That's you got to get the rebound right there. Oh. Baldwin aggressive to the rim and puts it in. Texas 13 to 12. Making for three, it's good, and the lead is single digits. I did, yes. and I will continue to do dog puns all night. Baldwin misses twice and gets it finally to go on the third attempt at an eight-point game. Casey in the lane, knocks that one in. Points and five rebounds. Tyler Harvey's open for a three and he hits another one. Tyler Harvey's got it going. Three pointers made on the year. Macon can't hit. Harvey long outlet for Tariq Phillip and he'll get the layup to go. Started turning around a little bit. Looks like they've kind of got their energy back. They started off the third quarter last night against the Clippers very slow. Very sluggish. Hannah's 0 for 2 for three-point range. Here's Swanigan inside. He's going to work against Nino Johnson. Goes to the fadeaway. Caleb Swanigan hits. He's got 13 now. Now onto the Kumpo with five to shoot. Two to shoot. And he gets the bucket and the foul. They are having a hard time on the defensive end. Oh, oh. Nice move by Marcus Keene. What an in and out dribble right there to freeze the defense and goes all the way to the cup. Baldwin working against Hannes out to Antetokounmpo. His three is good. So he came into the game. Antetokounmpo on a drive this time. Look out below. One handed flood. Tariq Phillip steps into a three and hits it. Phillip has made his way into the top ten in the league in three-point shooting. Keen gets around Dentman, gets to the rim. Yes, and one for Marcus Keen. Who was plus 11 in the first half in just six minutes and 19 seconds of action. Did not shoot. Hannah's with a deep three. Jones said something to Dusty, too, and Dusty started laughing. 
Inside to Swanigan, and the big fella scores at the iron. Keen back the other way, gives it to Jarnell Stokes for an easy two. Phillip on the run. He'll pull up with a three. Tariq Phillip! And he barks at the Texas Legends bench. Foul, that's 100% a foul. On that floater, Dusty got hit right. What a play right there by Ante DeCuba. Dusty double, shot double. that floater and absolutely just got drilled right on the arm. You can, let it, you can call that every play. Rattan Mays rips the cord with that one. Harvey steps back, pulls the trigger, hits again. Harvey with 22. Beyond the arc for Tyler Harvey. With 10 Mays for the answer. He rips the court again. Because Marcus Keene is so small. If Marcus Keene is three inches taller, he doesn't hit him there. His elbow is like in his stomach, and it barely touches him. Back to a single-digit game, and now a poke away from behind. Rattan Mays on the run out. And a timeout will be taken here by Memphis. Darrell Moore. Well, everybody, all the big guys got foul trouble now, so more yeah. than, they need minutes out of more. He's got four as Tanner McGrew hits the three. Tanner McGrew You're gonna to double digits. You're going to be amazed when you look at the plus-minus box on Tanner McGrew. Burrell inside, no. Tipped up and in, though, by Spalding. Does something with it immediately. Keen out to Hannah's for a three. Yes, sir! Dusty Hannah's hits another one. Ten to shoot now for Keen. Working against Baldwin, gets inside, scoops it up and in. The little guy gets all the way to the rim and lays it in. Battle out. In and out. Good job by Doral Moore to rebound that one. And Tyler and Harvey. He's not missing. <laughs> Tyler Harvey's just not missing tonight. Making on a drive. He scoops travels. it off to Spalding, and he did get away with the travel there. And Spalding gets the bucket at the end of it. I was thinking we may go with Marcus Keene tonight. Keen out to Harvey. I don't know. Tyler Harvey's Tyler making Harvey's a strong making, case. Yeah, but he's <laughs> making a pretty strong case. Throws it away here. Baldwin back the other way. Good defense by McGrew to stop that. Xavier, Xavier Johnson. Xavier Johnson, yeah, he was trailing the play. 111-99 as Texas brings it in. Hornsby off the inbound, goes back door and gets the lay in. Tyler Harvey. Pass deflected and stolen, and now Wade Baldwin ahead of the pack. He'll throw it down with the right hand. Harvey open. And hit this time. Nice rebound and the putback for Darrell Moore. Jarnell Stokes working inside. Got it to go. I mean, he's just so strong. He gave the bump to Ray Spaulding. And they're back-to-backs this year. This is their fourth. They lost both the first time, and they've won both the last three. Kyle oh, Casey gets the bounce on the three. Three, so that percentage will drop a little bit. Crawford off the turn. Give it to Harvey for a career high. No, Tariq Phillips going to take it himself. And Phillips throws that one down with the right hand. They'll go to 16 and 10. Texas loses their eight straight. They go to 8 and 19 on the year.